Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Hey Alvin, welcome, welcome. Can you hear me? We'll get started shortly here. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hey Peter, welcome, welcome. We'll get started shortly. Welcome. Hey, we'll get started shortly. Welcome, guys. I hope you're ready to have a great week of trading. Welcome, welcome. Guys, we'll get started shortly here. Guys, we'll get started here. All right. The Church of the Latter day Saints. Most importantly, hey, Alvin. Kim. Welcome, welcome, Kim. Welcome. All right. Hey, David. How you doing? Hey, good, good. How are you? All right. Good. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to get started here. Let's get started here. Hey, um, as you guys know, this evening, we go over just Q&A. All right, so uh, this is your time to ask any questions, uh, whether it's on the markets, right? So uh, Forex, cryptos, uh, Bitcoin, uh, stocks, all right? And also the system. So uh, anything on the systems, any... Uh, any symbols you guys want to take a look at? So we'll we'll um, we'll do that. So I'm gonna open up the floor, uh, so you guys can ask any questions that you want. Okay, so just go ahead. Any questions? Any questions out there, guys, for me? Dave, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes. Um, I'm just hey, curious, like, is this hey, uh, Alvin? Welcome, Alvin. Welcome. Th I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. Um, I have a question about the the classes. So is this like a one-time class or is this like a series of classes? 
Uh, we do a uh, good question. We do the classes every evening. Okay, so we start from um, Sundays. So we do a class on Sundays, uh, cryptos and Forex um, from 5 p.m. Uh, to about uh, 5.45 p.m. And then after that, we do a class on uh, trading systems. And then we, from there, we do a Q&A on Mondays. Um, on Tuesdays, we do a beginning traders class. Um, I believe on Wednesdays, we do a trading in the zone, Thursdays, um, stocks. And um, yeah, all, every, I think we, there's only one day on Saturdays we do not have a class. And the, the is class there any is way that um, maybe I can get an email with that schedule so that way I can uh, at least um, save those times and slots? Absolutely. Um, how did you hear from us? How did you find us? I was just looking at meetup groups. And okay. um, it was something that I was interested in. Okay. I haven't, I, all I've been doing is reading and trying to do my own research. Okay. So I don't have much experience at all. Okay, so what we can do, Alvin, um, just do me a favor, go back um, when, what, when we're done on Meetup and yeah. then just send me, um, send me a message um, with, your, um, with your phone number and um, I can get you some information. Okay. Thank and you we, so much. We, yeah, we also have um, a text alert, so you can you'll get a text um, every time we 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 have. Um, you can do it on Meetup also, but um, if you know a database, you'll get an alert also. Okay. So thank you. Yeah, just just uh, send me a, a a message, and I'll I'll make sure we um we get we get that schedule out to you. All right. Thanks thank for you very much. thanks for joining us this evening. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Um, okay. Anyone, anyone in have any questions on the markets or, or anything at all? Yeah, I was gonna ask you what's what's happening with the with the market right now with what you're seeing. Um, I know I texted you this morning about it seems like nothing is trending and everything is like on a in the middle. Okay, so let's take a look at that. And you guys are starting to pick up on, 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 on how the markets are moving. And um, that's a good question, Daniel. Um, so if you guys look here, what we are starting to get is some consolidation. All right, so um, let's take a look at pound, yen. Um, but you'll start to notice that yeah, there isn't a lot of volatility right um so here on pound yen we've got a short position here right and if you guys notice right here all these white white candles here those are neutral candles okay so price is neither trending to the upside neither is price moving to the downside so kind of like you know it's just kind of stuck and that might be because of of the holiday so today's a holiday um, so that might be the case. Okay. I can't guarantee that because Forex does its own thing. Okay. I mean, I've seen, I've seen crazy moves even, um, during, during holidays. Okay. Um, but yeah, right now, Daniel, the market is kind of flat consolidating. All right. So not a lot of movement, but that can change, right? So the European market will open. All right. The, so the London session will open at um, 3 a.m. in the morning, so I anticipate we'll get uh, we'll get some volatility um, back in forex. So no big deal. Things will start moving again. All right, um, and you if you guys look here, right? These are all your pairs, and you're starting to see there are more pairs consolidating. Okay, so Daniel, it's good that you you notice that that there isn't a lot of movement. Um, so. Um, but as things, as price moves, as the market opens up tomorrow, we'll see, we'll see movement. All right. But good catch. All right. That makes sense, Daniel? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Anyone else? Any other questions? What, Daniel, was that the only question you had? Well, I always have questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You have another one? Uh, <clears throat> so when when the market is, a, is is on a standstill, 
or kind of a uh, distribution phase, the market itself, does that mean that if you have the experience and if you have the skills to it, um, you just go for like um, minor trends or little secondary trends in their lower time frames if you had experience or? Um, well, the, yeah, the market is, um, so yeah, so the market is just flat. So there's no real, so there's nothing to do right now, right? So it's, it's just flat. There's no volatility right now. So there's nothing how to long, do. How long has it been uh, in that way ever since you told us to uh, sell the, um, get out of the um, pound yens? Remember when that was actually trending? Has it been since then or is it just for, for today that it's like that? Well, okay. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look at, um, and that's a good question here. Let's take a look at pound yen, for example. Uh, so here is resistance, right? I'll say right here. Here is resistance, and then here is support. Uh, and we'll just look at pound yen as an example. So we'll say support is right, right about here. Let's say support, right, right here. We'll call this support. So yes, it's been, it's been consolidating right right in this this is the distribution phase we'll con we'll call that distribution because we've got a sell short signal right here all right so yes it's been it's been consolidating in here for a while right right here is resistance and then here is support right in this area here yeah, so it, it has been okay so in the last 24 hours or so yeah we've had some you know, consolidation in here, some tight consolidation in here, all right? Um, but yeah, that, it could last for a while. We don't know how long that will last, like here, right? This kind of lasts for a while here and then price broke, broke down, all right? We're in short, right? We're in short, so we just wait, right? We just wait and hopefully we starting to get, if you guys look right here, Right, that's why we have to be patient. We're starting to get some some selling coming in here right now, and the market just opened at five p.m. Right, so we're starting to get some selling come in. We could hit this resistance. I mean, this support right here, and move lower. All right. So just be patient. Forex moves quickly, so we can have data come in, guys. Data come in um in the london session and and really start to think to see things move higher again or lower all right that helps daniel yeah so <clears throat> what would have happened dave if um so this is cell signal here uh where you see those two red candles touching the purple let's say for example if it touches uh resistance and then it passes that purple breaking the support down. Mm -hmm. Would that be a sell signal? Okay. If it so, breaks that, if it breaks that support, so it okay. comes up as a pullback. Let's just say, for example, it comes a little bit down, then it pulls back and touches that white, that white. Uh, it's called a trend line, and then it, and then it breaks the purple little bar here support. If it breaks that, would you say that's a sell signal, or what would the you know? Okay, so this is a short, a short trade right here to go short, correct? Yes. Yeah, so here is our short signal here <clears throat> on this candle here. This triangle here was a break of support. So here was our entry right here. So are you saying that if the price moves higher and breaks this resistance, if we would get a sell signal to close the trade? Actually, no, you, you kind of just answered it. Um, so the system gave a sell signal, correct? Right here? A, a sell short, a sell short. Sorry, sorry, sell a short. A sell short, So yes. if, it gives you a, if it gives us a, a sell short, are we st would that person still be in it right now? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, what Brian, I, I don't know if you guys know what, um, so on Sunday, right? On Sunday, Brian mentioned that and this is this is more advanced, right? I wouldn't recommend new traders doing this. It's more advanced, right? Where you could wait. So don't take this signal 
because most of the time, guys, you know, it will price will hit that support or hit that resistance. We get a pullback, right? We get a pullback as long as it holds, all right, holds support, all right. Um, we can get a move like this, right? And it's sometimes we call it a cup and handle, where it kind of does this here, gets back to resistance, consolidate at the resistance line, and then move in the direction. Okay. Um, you can you can wait for the move, right? Don't take this move here. Wait for the pullback. It gets back to resistance and then move higher. All right. But that takes a bit of um, knowledge to do that. Okay. As you guys get more savvy, you can do that. All right. But what I recommend for, for new traders, go ahead and take the trade. Just take the trade. Okay. Let it pull back, anticipate the pullback. It's no big deal. Let it pull back kind of like this right here. All right. Worst case scenario, if it breaks resistance, I mean, you know, up in this area, it will just get you out. You take the loss, no big deal, right? But I'd rather you guys just get in the trade, right? Once you start trying to time your trades, right? Time the trades, you, you get a lot of emotion in your trade, okay? A lot of emotion, a lot of second guessing. As, as, uh, as you get more savvy, you know, like Cam and Brian and Ricky and those guys, you can, you can, you know, you can, move things around within the trade. So if you look here, what, what, so what, and pound yen is a good example, right? So you guys watch pound yen, watch what it does and use it as an, a good example. So here was our short signal right here to take the trade to go down. It pulled back, right? It pulled back, right? Um, so all the big, traders, banks are trying to get a lower fill, right? So they're trying to get a better price, right? A better price up in this area here before they move the, 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 the price lower, all right? So they're going to stop out. That's why we do not want to have any stop losses anyway in this area here because we would have been stopped out, all right? So watch this trade. This is a good example. So we would have stayed in the trade, got, got in here to go short, and just held it, no, no big deal. We would just hold the trade until we get a sell signal on a break of support, in this case, break of resistance, okay? Good job, Daniel. Any other questions? This is important. Um, David. Yes. It's Peter. Um, hey, Peter. Hey, how are you? Um, where's the next support? The next support, so here's the first support right here. Um, the next support would be, let's see here. Um, okay, let's see here. I would say probably, hold on one second. Let's get more data here. All right, that looks better here. Um, I would say, let's see here. Your next real support would be, let's see here. 154.06. Yeah, yeah you know. might get, yeah, here was the last short signal right here. So on a break of this support, it held here. Here was previous resistance here. So this is a strong area right in here. Okay, all right, so here. And then I would look about probably right, right here. See here, we got a lot of resistance in here. All mm -hmm. right, a lot of resistance in here, in here. So here, uh, 155 and then 154 and change. All right. And then- you know, there the pairs that's correlating like a stronger yen. Another what's, pair. What's that? Is there another correlation that's telling us the yen is getting stronger? Um, oh, I mean, we could take a look at the monthly. I hear a strong. Because this one, we're saying we're thinking that's going to go um, sell signal. It's going to it's the pound is weak. So is it just the the yen's getting stronger? And, and if it's another confirmation and another pair against the yen is getting weak as well. 
Um, yeah, I mean, usually, usually the Aussie, Aussie, New Zealand, the Kiwi pairs and the yen pairs all kind of go together, right? So if you, if you guys notice here, they're all same down. to the downside, yeah. And true. then, and then what happens is you'll, you'll notice that the dollar pairs and the euro pairs and even the pound pairs, they'll move the reverse to the upside. Okay. So these pairs here, if you guys remember, um, and we talked about even on Sunday, these were all down. You guys remember? You guys remember yeah. that these, yeah. were, these were all trending down, right? And look. Yep, we, switching up to blue. <laughs> switching up to blue, right? And we talked about, um, because the dollar pairs were all in here, guys. And you guys, some of you guys, I, I know you guys caught some really good um, trades. And we said, hey, do, do not chase them. Bill, do you remember that, Bill? Yeah, I remember it now. <laughs> yeah, we said, no, don't chase them, right? Kind of just hold, right? And wait for the accumulation, right? So they're starting, we're starting to see buying coming in, guys, in the dollar pairs, right? So we're starting to see, here is new up, new up blew up so we're starting to see buying coming in all right so let's see here hey dave this is joe can you please show me the the pound hey. yen in the daily and the weekly please all right hey joe how are you I'm doing well how are you doing good good all right let's see the pound yen on the daily and the weekly all right, I'll do one better. I'll show, I'll show you on the monthly too. All right, so daily, we'll bring up three charts here. Okay. The daily, monthly, and weekly. All right. So let's see here. <clears throat> All right, so this is the weekly here and we need one more. All right, daily. All right, so Joey, here is the daily here. To the left, yeah, okay. Here's the weekly and then the yeah. monthly here. Okay. So on the 240, we have the sell signal, but uh, daily is still holding. I mean, it's short and so far so good. Are you in the short? Yeah, but so far it's so good, I'm positive. Okay, so uh, let me ask you, why did you want to see the daily and the weekly time frame? I want to see what it's moving, what it's going towards. So I know that in a, by the end of next, probably this week, I will get out of it. Or actually even better, I'll wait for, for your signals. So does anyone see anything from what Joe wanted here? Do you guys see anything, any pattern here in price from these time frames here? <clears throat> you guys see anything at all? You guys I see that? They're all in the they, yeah, they, they look like they, they're they all running on a primary trend, like they're all green. Okay, so what's the trend? Markup. Markup. So what does that tell us? Might what? be that it's that it's still 
that it's still trending is not done yet, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's let's analyze this. Okay, so on the daily, on the daily we have a buy signal, mm -hmm. right? Markup phase on the daily green candles, so the buyers are definitely in control. On the weekly time frame, right? On the weekly time frame, we've got a buy signal, right? It, it's definitely in the markup phase, testing resistance here, all right? Mm -hmm. And on the monthly, guess what? It's testing, res it's, it, it's right at resistance here. We got a buy signal right here and it's testing resistance. So look here for a second. Mm -hmm. And Joe, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned these different time frames. Yes. Okay, so here, here is price right here on the monthly time frame. Here it is right here on the weekly. Mm -hmm. On the weekly, we've got resistance right here. And then on the daily, we've got resistance right here, right about here on the daily. All right. Okay, so the overall trend, guys, guess what? Buy signal on the on the monthly buy signal on the daily on, on the weekly it says rather, weekly weekly rather yeah and then buy signal on the daily so the overall trend is what the overall trend is is where which direction going up it's going up right they yeah we, it's, we, they're all in the markup phase right mm -hmm. yeah so Let's go back to the 240. The 240, we've got a short trade here, right? To go down, right? Yeah. Yes. So how would we trade this? How would you guys trade this? We've got a short signal on the 240, right? We know that the overall trend, the overall trend on the longer time frame uh up uh, all in the markup phase so how would how would we trade pound yen right now how would we trade pound yen right now well as soon as it goes to the to the down to the support i'm out you're out if it so if it goes down to this support this support yeah if it does if it doesn't break it i'm out if it breaks it i'll stay in okay so this support here okay so here is mm -hmm. strong support right here we'll call this here over here so if it if it breaks okay so let's analyze this so if it breaks this support right here joe yes. or here Wait, yes. which support which no, support that, that, that was the one up above the purple Right here? Yes. Okay. So if it breaks it, you would get out? No, if it breaks it, I'll stay in. You'll stay if it in. Doesn't, yeah, if it doesn't break it, I'll go up, get out. Okay, why? Because the trend is going up in a week. Okay, anyone else? Stay, stay short, and then if it breaks resistance, then get out. Okay. Or get stay short if it breaks stay resistance, short. get out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyone else? Yeah. If it breaks resistance, that means it's still going up because it looks like it, the white candles is <laughs> is cons it's consolidating. So it looks like it's <clears throat> it's trying to decide right now, buyers and sellers. They're trying to decide what's going to happen. Are we going to go down and break support or not? So if it breaks resistance, that means the buyers are still in control and it is going to continue to go up. Correct. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, which is the better opportunity? Which is the better opportunity here? In the long um, run, probably long. Long, right? Very good. Yeah. Right? Very good. Right? So if you're going to deploy capital, right? Okay. A decent amount of capital, you wouldn't go short. Mm -hmm. Okay, we wouldn't go short. All right. So, Dave, I've got a question. If it, 
trend, if it, it it's consolidating now, and if it moves upward, would it have to cross the green uh, moving average line before we get a buy signal? Yes. Yeah, or so does that sometimes come in earlier? I would say usually it comes in later than earlier. Okay. So it comes in after it yeah. crosses the green trend line? Yeah, so if you guys look, let's see, let's go here. You see kind of like here, you see how it crossed the, 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 the moving average right here, right? And the buy signal came in all the way up here. Yeah, I see. Okay, you see this one here. So it, it's, it, it's going to wait kind of like here too cross that moving average line, green candle, hit resistance right here. So um, yeah, so it would have to get probably, I would say, and this is what you, this is where you guys can kind of gauge things a bit right here. So here is, here is resistance right here. I would call this the high. So it would have to get back into this area here to give us a sell signal, okay? Um, if you guys, if you guys are in this and let's say you got, you got, a, and this is just being savvy, right? And knowing what's happening. If you get a green candle, I, I would say get out. Okay. There are times when you can get, you, you might be able to get a green candle, right? A green, so buyers are coming in, buyers are coming in. And yes, you might you might get some buyers come in and then sellers come in and 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 hopefully get get you know come back down. But if the overall trend, this is a counter trend trade. So you're going against the overall trend. So I'm glad you mentioned this, Joe, because yeah, so there are different types of trades here. The 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 the, the larger opportunity that we, we have with and we've been talking about this right that pound yen on the daily time on the monthly time frame very yeah. is setting up for a big move all right is what we think right so on the daily time on the monthly time frame we've got a buy signal here right so we got all bullish candles here it's definitely in the markup phase so any positions we go short guys we just you know, we, 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 we are not really, it's a, we're going against the trend. So we're not trading heavy. We're just trying to get a few pips out of it. I mean, if we, if it goes down further, then that's fine. I mean, if it, if it goes down in this area, even down in this area, that's fine. Right. But guess what? Once that short position close closes and gives us a buy signal, we are ready to take things moving. Right. We're yep. definitely ready to take things moving. All right. So that's that's a good, that's a that's that's really good, Joe, that you're looking Thank at you. the longer time frames. Yes. To see, to see what's setting up. Okay. Thank you, David. All right. Okay. Hey David, yes. can we take a look at the QQQ and also Adobe? Okay. I'm still in Adobe. Okay. All right, QQQ. Okay, we'll do it here. Okay. What are you planning to do here? Just seeing just the overall tech sector. Um, it broke support. Mm -hmm. um, 378 was the support. I know I'm just seeing which direction the tech is going to go. Okay, so let's look here. So here is here's the NASDAQ. Here's the Russell. I mean, the market's weak. I mean, we'll see what it does tomorrow. Um, but we've got more, we've got more, um, more sectors that are moving to the downside, right? More sets, you know, um, here's the NASDAQ with it's, it's moving down. So, um, it's weak. It's okay. weak. Yeah. It's weak. We'll, we'll have to see what happens this, this week will be a big week, I think. Okay. Yeah. 
um you know uh in uh, we, september the previous in september 3rd the previous resistance became support and now it broke um that that support so that's why is it i'm thinking i'm just asking is it going to continue to go down or people are just buying the dip okay so september you said september Third. support yeah that was previous resistance major resistance and it became support at what price um at 382 of last year okay yep. so right here <laughs> Earth back, yep, right there. Okay. So that was a previous resistance in September, and then it became support right there. Yeah, you got it. And it, it's a major support area. Okay. And it broke that. So what is the price action here telling you? It's telling us. It it's telling us it's bearish. I mean, we, yeah, we broke, we broke um, pretty good support. Uh, we've got a, we've got a sell short signal, right? We've got a sell short signal right here, right? And um, yeah, very bearish. And then basically my position is in Adobe, which, you know, I've been in it for like three or four weeks. All right, so let's, what's the symbol for Adobe? A, D as in David, B, boy, E, Adobe. All right. Oh, I remember this trade. Yep, I'm still in it. You're still in still, it? Still in it. <laughs> all, all the way until it, till it hits uh, the next support, which is 400 and, uh, 440, 470. Mm. So, no, you, you had two positions, right? You had a position I have, up I have, in here and then a I have position like down in foot. here, right? Yeah, I have like I have multiple positions. Mostly they're in the 555, 540, 535 area. And I'm just waiting until it hits 470. This is my first target. 470. And you okay with the expiration? You've got time on those? Yeah, expire? I actually have I had the I have to roll the uh, roll the puts. So I rolled my long puts. Okay. And, uh, and I saw a lot of call. I saw a lot of call options, collect a lot of premiums. Good along job. The good job. Let's but take just, a good job. I'm just looking at the what's the next like consolidation area. What's yeah, the next? Yeah, you got it in the, yeah, that area. It stood, it, it stayed in the 470 for a long time, for like a year. So I'm just thinking that's just a major major support area yeah so you might have um you might have some trouble in yeah. um, getting getting through this area it's not, where... probably not gonna get past the 430 area not till a long while well i would watch the overall the broad market yeah that's why i was asking about the qqq if the yeah. qqq really breaks down now that'll, that'll slice through that support yeah um let's do this yeah, I would really keep an eye on on the on the indexes. That will that will help if if they if they go, this will go also. You like I said, you just like I follow the phases that you're talking about. Just be confident, stay in, stay in, because the mm -hmm. more down, so it's the it, seller. It, it works, doesn't it? It gives you confidence to stick yeah. in, stay. In. Yep. Sometimes every time it pulls back, bro, it's like because I <laughs> really get angsty. Yeah. All right. And so, no, yeah. do except stay and wait. Yeah, let's do this. All right. And you you're on the daily, right? The daily. Um, you know, I'm trading. You know, yeah. It's it's the swing trade, so I'm oh. holding it like for weeks and weeks. Okay, so here is the here is the weekly. Yeah, look at that, right? Yeah, yeah, look at that. There are no buyers in. When, right when it broke that support at 
five forty, I got in and it just did a huge like pullback. It did a huge mm-hmm. forty points pullback, and it's like, oh my, my puts option is just hurting bad. And I was just remembering what you said. Just stay in, mark down phase. Just stay in. Don't worry about it. So I'm just, I'm just holding on. Good job. Okay, so let's take a look here. This is the weekly. I don't think we need to go as far as the monthly on this. Uh, so let's take a look at the weekly here. Okay. So guess what? You have support right here. That's pretty good support right here on the weekly. Guess what? You broke that support. All yeah. right. You broke that That's support. What QQQ. If the QQQ breaks down, yeah. then definitely we're we're gonna we're gonna chop in this area. Yeah, so there is nothing. To, all you've got to do is just hold on. Um, yeah, so you've got you've got support here um, at five oh nine that you broke, right? Yeah. And the next support, the next big support, right? Looking on the on the weekly time frame is four thirty six. Yeah, that's my my second exit. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah, my you first should. X is just in that uh, the middle of those chop area 470 mm-hmm. is the mm-hmm. what we call it in volume profile point of control, mm-hmm. and then my second accent is the the fourth the four thirties. Okay, you this is a this is a damn good trade here. Yeah, yeah. um, just in the meat of the trade right now, yeah. just stay. Mm-hmm. Just stay in, um here so i would put um keep an eye on the weekly peter okay yeah just keep an eye i would have i would have this out i I wouldn't trade it but just keep this out for um for confidence okay and um see what it does so see what it does um look for here look for this target in here so you're you 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 you're looking at 470 so I think, yeah, I think you should get 470 without a problem. Yeah. Um, you're clearly in the markdown phase. Um, I would be a bit concerned um, with this. This when we, Whenever we get yellow support and resistance within mm-hmm. the markdown phase, that, that's always signaling a reversal in price. Yeah. Okay. And definitely back and try to retest those previous support. Yeah. And it but, came back almost touch it a little bit and then it got rejected so i'm yeah. just uh staying in but i think you're good i i think you you saw you saw it in the markdown phase so there's nothing i mean there's there's nothing to do you can't really get out of the trade because it you clearly in the in the markdown phase look for this area here for redistribution so yeah. get excited if you can start getting some redistribution um, but I think yeah, 470 that that should be fairly easy. Watch the um, watch the weekly right here, and then most importantly, watch the major indexes. Okay, yep. yeah, watch 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 these right here, and um, and then watch the VIX. If you get a nice move in the VIX to the upside, that's gonna help you also. Okay, so right now you just got to babysit the whole thing. You just got to, you're in good, right? You're profitable, um, just kind of babysit it, all right? But it shouldn't, it shouldn't get out of hand. Um, I'm going to start trading futures. Do you have any like products that monitor the futures, whether um, treasuries or the indexes? Well, there's a couple of um, ways to do it. Uh, we 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 do it through Monster uh, Monster ETF, but then Monster. we just yeah we just launched um, a Monster US thirty uh, okay. for for, uh, for the futures market. Okay. All right, yeah. So, but we'll look as we move forward. We'll get more into um, more into futures. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, this is our first future system right here, Monster US, US, um, US 30. Uh, yeah. That's a popular, yeah, that's popular with a lot of traders. Do you, can you look at different products like treasuries, bonds, crude oil? Indexes with, yeah, the- yeah, we'll be able to do that with um, futures. 
Um, but right now, most of that is done through Monster ETF right here. Let's see here. And we, we, we like using that system when, um, when things get bearish. Yeah, one second here. So while, while this is pulling up, um, any other questions? Any other questions? Any, any questions on Peter's trade? Any questions on Peter's trade on Adobe? That's good um, trading. That's go ahead. Go ahead, Kim. Uh, Adobe is, is definitely is in a markdown phase. Uh, trades like that, uh, you're, you're late, really, really late on the uh, short side. You know, you could take a small position, and uh, especially using options, find something for like under a dollar, maybe only buy one contract or something like that, and uh, and uh, uh, but I I wouldn't I wouldn't be putting on a large position at this particular point on the short side. And I absolutely positively wouldn't be buying a long position on the upside. Uh, not until I see some evidence that it's going to turn around. So th this is one of those ones I would just uh, set my alerts on as far as where support and resistances are and just, just leave it at that. Yeah, um, yeah, Kim, he's been in this though. He's been in this. Um, I think he got in, you got in, um, Peter, at what, 640, was it? You got I in got in high. earnings, yeah. I got in at 630. Did you buy puts or did you just short it? Uh, I always do, um, I usually do options. So I did, uh, I bought the long put 630 and then okay. I also sold a 605 short. Okay. So, yeah, I made a good three thousand dollars on on my okay. uh, on that tr first trade, and then mm -hmm. I just a lot of calls along the way, and I have three other put positions. I'm still holding on. Yeah, now, he's been he's trying? been trading this for a while. Yeah, it's good. I've been in it about about a month. Well, when Since do your options expire? Um, I just rolled it for February. I have a lot of expiry February four, February eighteenth. Yeah, most of my uh, my huge position is for February expiration. Okay, the only other advice I would have for you is to look at look to see when they have an earnings report, and you may get some volatility around that time period. And that's yeah. about it. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. That's a good point. Yeah. And just watching the QQQ, what the QQQ does, it like so it definitely affects. Like when the QQQ goes up, like there's some buying activity. It tests uh, resistance. Um, but if it breaks down, I'm just hoping it it'll just slice through support. Yeah, I think, yeah, and I think, um, yeah, that's a good point, Kim. Earnings, watch out for earnings. But I think the, the bigger thing here is this, right? Watch the market this week. Tomorrow, I will be all over, right? Watch what these indexes are doing. I mean, you've got the NASDAQ, the Russell. I mean, they're right there to break, right? Yeah. Um, even the S and P, right? We've got a, a little bit of, you know, we got some ways to go, but it's still they're in trouble. So I think that's going to be your what's what will help you the most. Um, and then you're just gonna have to be quick, all right? So, um, you know, like what Kim is saying, this it can it can start pulling back up, right? Um, this right here is a falling knife. This is a falling knife. This is the weekly. Right. So, you know, what could happen is this. You can get that spike down. Right. You can get a week or two. I wouldn't say two weeks, probably one week. You never know. But right here, they might be targeting this, this support right here. Push the price down to this support. And then guess what? Buying, is, buying starts to come back in pretty quickly. Yeah, it's going to start chopping. Yeah. Once it yeah. yeah, so they might push it, just push the price down, hit that support right here. That's pretty good support right here. I wouldn't try to get anything below here. I wouldn't yeah. try to get anything below here, right? But right here, it might spike it down, especially if the market gets weaker. 
All right, and then that's that's going to be your cue right here, and you'll see the action, the price action here on the daily. All right, and um, just take your profits and be done. <clears throat> hey, uh, question for Pete for the Adobe. Yeah, go ahead. Um, are you trading that in a daily time frame or in a weekly or in a one hour time frame? It's a swing trade. So swing trades, you're, you have to prepare to hold it for days and weeks. So usually the bare minimum, you use the, uh, the 240 as, a, as an entry. Okay. And when you say you got to hold it for weeks, is that because you chose, it to, you chose to hold it for weeks? Or is it like you like pre-programmed it and said, you know, for oh, this time? Because I, I know it takes days and weeks to get to that price level of 430, 470. It's it's not it's not a quick trade. It's a uh, yeah, because I'm I'm swinging for a hundred points and stuff like that. So you know I'm holding it for a longer time frame. And what made you uh, invest in the Adobe? Uh, just well, I just I just I pay attention to news. I'm all I'm switching to full time trading. So I just I know that tech sector is gonna break down. Um, I've been watching like all the tech stocks like DocuSign, Square, and all these these um hyper growth tech stocks every earnings call it falls huge like 40 points 50 points i was in upstart and that that stock fell 50 points right after earnings even though positive reports just didn't make sense so that's why i got into this adobe trade because like the, that earnings report i made a lot of money just breaking down 40 points when is earnings on this um the last earning was in uh december um like early december i think the next one will be in march maybe okay i would um yeah it was it didn't even make any sense um it was just like all these positive earnings report and then the, yet the tech doctor like broke down heavy okay yeah, I would, I would like Kim was saying, I would find, I would find exactly the date. Okay. So that just, you, yeah, earnings date. Oh, you've got time. What that three, 322. Is that right? So you've got time. So this is not an earnings place. So you should have time because your ex, your, they expire when? Uh, February 4th. Okay. February. So so you, you should be, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, I would just watch for this. Keep, I would keep a, definitely keep a, a weekly ch chart up, all right? Watch for this area here, 436, four right? If, if, if your target is, is 470, I think you're good, all right? Yeah. I, I think you're good. And again, just watch the market. If you start getting buying in, buying, right? Buying coming in, a lot of buying, then, you know, that might change things a bit and then watch the vix if the vix gets spikes up if it spike up above 20 and higher then that's good for you also the uh the market's been doing weird things it's been like rolling into value stocks financials and energy stocks so everything else breaks down um but the value stocks wow the energy stock wow like financials wow yeah. Yeah, we saw that um, in Bullmaster, um, where we had a lot of, um, I don't know why my data here, um, but a lot of the energy stocks. Yeah, we saw that um, about a week ago, a lot of the energy stocks were making a run, right? So right here, all these energy stocks. So you're right, all these energy stocks, right? Really um doing well oh look at this all these all these energy stocks guys now this is as as of um the market was closed today but as of um as of friday right look at this all these energy stocks so you're you're right peter right all these energy stocks um and then some financial but mainly mainly energy all right uh these two weeks the uh, earnings report, five, a lot of financial firms are coming out since they're talking about raising interest rates. So they're mm -hmm. all doing very well. Okay. Like what usually financial, they do well when they can charge more interest. Okay. So, 
Um, when you guys, when you do that, keep an eye on this sector though, okay? So um, the financial sector, X, XLF, that's financial. Um, and I, I like energy. Energy's, energy sector is the top moving sector right now. So the XLE, that's for energy. All right, and we'll go through more, more of these on um, these on um, Thursday. But um, we always talk about, you know, look at the sector. So um, energy X, XLE. So look at that right there, guys. Nice breakup. So now this is why I don't like those waiting on those pullbacks. Right, so yes, we'll sometimes we'll get pullbacks like this here to that support, but sometimes we don't. We won't get that pullback. So if you sometimes we wait for that pullback, and um, I, I really don't like it with new traders because boy, it messes up your trades. I rather I rather take that loss, right? I rather take that loss, and and um, really trade well. And, you know, we don't want to be afraid of taking losses, but uh, this is what could happen sometimes. If you wait for that pullback, you keep waiting for that pullback, right? To get, you know, so that you don't get stopped out. Guess what? You might miss trades like this. I mean, look at that, right? That's the energy sector, right? Look at another one here. Buy signal all the way up, all right? So we don't want to be afraid of that pullback, all right? It's a great, it's great to do, but... Just know that sometimes, you know, we, we just want to buy that buy signal and let, let, it, let it rip, all right? So energy, this is energy. Um, where is crude at? Hold on one second. Uh, crude is at like 83 now. 83. I'll give you the exact numbers. Hang on. Got it right here in front of me. Is that 83 and change? I remember I told you the other day you asked me, I said it was 82 and something. We checked and it was like, like just above 80. And then later on that night, it went to 82. Okay, so right now, um, after market. 83.64 is what you got? No, I've got 84.14. I got 83.64. Okay. So are you looking at West Texas uh, Interstate? WTI? Yeah, WTI. Okay. So I might be delayed here, but. I'm on CNBC. I'm on investing.com. Okay, there might be a, a delay. Um, but the bottom line, guys, look at that, right? Crude. So all look at this, all these energy stocks. That's where that's where right now, that's where all that's what they're buying. They're buying energy. Right? They're buying energy. Right. And now. they have amazing charts. I've looked at quite a few of them. Yeah, uh, Conoco I mean, Phillips, uh, uh, Chevron, Valero, Phillips 66, Marathon Petroleum, Occidental, Exxon Mobil, Schlumberger, you name it. They're all doing neighbors. They're all doing them really, really well. Every single one. Any, say it again. Is there any resistance? What's the next resistance level for these XLE? Oh, uh, you got to go back and look at like a 10 year chart to. Find I know. It's, I can't remember the last time it was so, so high. Yeah, um, we could go back like yeah. 10, 15 years. We could see crude um, based on this movement. We could see crude get to a hundred. You know, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's been over a hundred before. Yeah. So the next, the next. Um, let's do this, and then we'll we'll be done. Um, so we've got previous support is right. Well, the uh, next support is right here. It's gotten past that. This area here will be a big area here. All right, let's see here. Right here, guys, watch this area here. Oh yeah, we could get, we could get, we could get over 90 a barrel. Look at this. So we'll, yeah, so it'll look to clear, get about, if it gets 30. past this area. Wow. Yeah, this would be back in what, 2018, guys? Look at that, 2018. Yeah. Yeah. So this is definitely a markup phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, and look here, it just broke. It just broke this resistance here. This is the weekly. 
Let's take a, look, a quick look at the monthly. This is this is uh this is the trade, bro. This I'm is gonna the do. trade. Yeah, this is the trade. Um, I can't do that with Montescal, but right, uh, um, Dave. Yeah, you can you can chart it. You just won't get the trades, the heat seeker. So heat seeker is with Bowmaster, uh, but it. yeah, you can certainly chart it. Um, so here, let's take a look at the monthly. Guys, this might be an early move. Look at this. So here is. So definitely it could make it up to this resistance here. Here's the all time high. Well, what was it? This was 2008. 2000, okay, 2013 was when it, it went crazy. It made an all time high. Because right now inflation is at 7%. They came out the CPI numbers. So we're in, we can definitely go to 10%, 12. So yeah, we can definitely mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. all the way to. Look at this previous move here. Look at this, look at this previous move here. And look at this current move here. Yeah, so we could definitely, I could see us getting here. I could, we could, we could definitely get to here. Yeah, and they're buying it. Look here. I mean, we, we yes, we can certainly take a look at this, but look here. I mean, this is the proof here. Look at this. We, this is the proof here. All these energy stocks that they're buying. It's all energy out of all these stocks. 22,000 stocks, right? And it's just, it's everything is energy right here. All energy, all energy right here. So, so the easiest trade would be just the, the XLE. Well, the XLE is the, um, the sector. Oh, you can't, there's no ETF on the XLE? Um, the XLE is yeah, an ETF. Yeah, it's the ETF. That yeah. is the ETF. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's yeah. the ETF, yeah. Uh, just to buy this, go mm -hmm. long. There are some other energy, though, energy uh, ETFs you guys can buy. And it's the uh, XOP, the USO. USO is popular. Yeah, the USUCO, believe it or not, and uh, the OIH. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the XOP, USO, OIH, uh, and the uh, the UCL. Yeah. I don't don't did, don't guys don't trade a uh, UNG, which is natural gas. That is like you you you're better off trading Pioneer Natural Resources and EOG Energy or Chesapeake Energy. Those symbols are PXD, uh, EOG, and uh, CHK. They're on your list, in your list, uh, um, uh, David, that list you got up right now, you'll see mm -hmm. them there. Okay. But, uh, but, but, but don't trade, uh, don't trade the UNG because that thing is just incredibly too volatile. The, the stock that's at the perfect buy position and it's in David's list is Teneris and the symbol is uh, TS. That's the one that's in the perfect, perfect uh, buy position right now. All right. Okay, guys. Energy. <laughs> Lots of opportunities. Lots of op too many opportunities, right? All right. Dave, uh, if I don't have no uh if I don't have that one, um, could I trade an Oanda with that? Could you trade what? Trade the, the ETF? Um, I mean the um yeah. The crew, yeah. If if I was just curious about it and, and yeah, wanted to enter a trade or something like that, would I be able to use Oanda since I don't have that software? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I would I would pull I would pull it that it should come up. Yeah. XLE should come up there. And that's that's yeah, you should be able to trade it. All it is is an ETF. Yeah. All right. Any questions? Any other questions, guys? All right. 
no good productive. What's that? Good productive meeting. We know what to trade. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good job, Peter. Good job staying with that trade. I know you were concerned yeah. about it and you hung in there. Yeah. All right. You, you hung in there. Yeah. And uh, that's what we want to do, right? No emotions, guys. No emotions. We want to follow the trades. And um, let us know, Peter, let us know how, um, how you make out. So let us know how you make out right here. All right. Sure. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna stay in till till 470. So yeah, yeah. So just let us let, let us know how you make out. And um, Joe, you still on here, Joe? Is Joe still on here? Okay, I think he left. All right, guys. Um, good job. Great information. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Great job. Have a good evening. Take care. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.